Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your upper body MRT workout. MRT stands for metabolic resistance training. So while we are strengthening your arms, your shoulders, your chest, your back, your core, we're also gonna keep the heart rate up to get that good metabolic conditioning. Of course, I'm gonna give you lots of different options to listen to your body. Today we are working with dumbbells, kettlebells, and mini bands. If you have all three, use them. Otherwise, just use what you've got. Are you ready? Ready! Let's do it. All right, so we'll start just getting our bodies warm. We're gonna do a quick body weight warm up, just getting them blood flowing, muscles warm. We can roll those shoulders. Upper body warm up. If you've ever done a workout with Elise, you know, she adds her own flair, which we love. It's a lot of fun. We do a lot of laughing, which works our core. Let's take them to the front. So we'll keep this warm up short, even a little bit shorter than normal because our first circuit is gonna be using mini bands. Now, if you don't have a mini band, let's take them even bigger. If you don't have a mini band, you can keep it body weight because it's gonna serve as an extension of our warm up, some activation exercises. So, totally fine. If you don't have them, I'll give you some ways to use dumbbells or just to keep it body weight. Let's cross them here. Yes, give yourself a hug. Oh, thank you, body. And then let's take it down, little hinge. Take it up to that Y. Hinge and Y. Oh dear, right? Doesn't that feel good? Because we all need it. Two more. And then since we're here, let's take those arms out and let's just roll through our back. Flat down and then round it up. Flat down and then round it up. Whatever sounds you make, totally fine. You do you be where you are today. Let's hold this one underneath and just roll the shoulders. One and then the other, stretching through the back. To here. And then from here, let's take our hands down and we're gonna walk back. And we're gonna keep it here. We're just gonna take it to a little down dog and then back to center. I'm gonna turn this side so you can see. So you can either do that down dog, stretch through the arms to the back, or you can do knees, child's pose to all fours. Reaching back. So I'm going a little bit lighter today. I've still got some stitches on my back from a little skin surgery. Don't worry, I'm fine. And that's why Elise is here. And so I'm here. To do all the hard stuff. Uh. <laughs> so if you can, go ahead and rotate to the side. You can be on the knee, you can be on the toes. Oh. Working that core. Yep, back to center. Other side. Big stretch. Oh. And then go ahead and walk those hands back. You can give yourself a little stretch there slowly. Roll it up. Ah, let's do a little tap and reach across. And then we'll jump in with those mini bands. So again, if you don't have a band, no problem. We are just getting the mobility over your head, getting the mobility going, warming up through everything. So it's gonna be a good time. Let's take those knees across. Right here. <laughs> so everything, almost everything, is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. A few things that we're gonna do, we're gonna split the time 20 and 20. All right, so we're gonna grab our mini band, something medium to heavy. Is mine heavy? I know, because <laughs> you're really strong. So I want you to put it right above your wrist, kind of right there, and we're doing some band wise. So you're pulling out to the wide. Don't worry if you don't get as wide, and then you're coming to the center and taking it out. So we're just there, 40 seconds, in three, two, one. Here we go, take it out, take it center. So a little squeeze, it's activation for your shoulders. If you don't have a band, you can just think of it as those I's, Y's, and T's that we do, where you're still gonna get that movement through the back of the shoulders, activating the scapula, which is the right center, your shoulder blades, basically. <laughs> right, here we go. And again, this is our warm-up mobility activation, but we're gonna feel the burn, especially if you've got that band. Five seconds. And remember, this is MRT, so we're gonna get that heart rate up as well. Good, relax it down. So now we're gonna take it out in front. I want you to grab it on either side. You're gonna pull like a bow and arrow. So you're here, pull that elbow in. If you wanna take it with a dumbbell, if you don't have a band, you can pull from the floor, one and then the other. Otherwise, band, we're taking it one side at a time in three, two, one. We pull right or left. <laughs> 
<laughs> Either way. <laughs> and what you're not doing is turning your body. You're keeping that core stable and pulling the elbow back. So again, if you're using a weight, you can pull from here. We know this move, right? But the band gives us a little extra. We have to work that stability. <sighs> Harder than it looks, right? <laughs> Ah, did you do it really? Like two days. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, archery in gym class. Three, two, that sounds dangerous. One. All right, team, so keeping that burn going, body weight or band, we're gonna take it up here. We got 20 seconds each side. You're pulling that elbow down towards the knee. So we got 20 seconds here. So it's a lap pull down, but it's also a side knee for our core. 20 seconds left, then 20 seconds right. In three, two, one, here we go. And it doesn't have to be super fast. It can be. If you're going body weight, you can just take it here one arm or two, but we're getting the back squeezing and we're getting those obliques, sneaking in a little hips as well. Yes, three, two, one. Switch your sides right here, bring it up. Pull it in right here. My shoulders are burning. I think even if we didn't have the band, just the fact that we're holding them up the whole time. Hopefully this gets your heart rate up. That's where we get that metabolic resistance training. Five, four, three, two, one. One more thing up top, then we take it to the mat. So working those triceps, we're gonna extend out. If you have dumbbells, you can do a set of light dumbbells, but we're taking it here. We're gonna step out to the right while we push out from the elbow. So it is tricep extension. Let's do it in three. Right. Yes, so right. <laughs> here we go. I mean, to be fair, you were camera right. You were there right. <laughs> So with this, making sure you're keeping it nice and steady here, and then as you extend, extending through the triceps. Looks great, yes. And you can make it a little bit of a dance if you want. There we go. Take it and ha. Whoo, burn. After this, we go to the mat. We're gonna keep the burn, but we'll add a little core to it, right? Breathe, ha. We've got five, four, Three, two, one, ah, burn. All right, so we're switching gears. We're gonna put this at our feet. We're gonna come down on our back. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna have you, well, you can just face that way. Band at your feet. We love this for core. We get some of that internal resistance. We're going bicycle right and left. Join us here in three, two, one. So you want to think just as much about pulling the band in as pushing it away. And again, if you don't have the band, obviously it's just your regular bicycle. Tuck that pelvis. You're managing the resistance, the pressure by stabilizing in the core. And then we get that rotation of the core. At least your shoulders are getting a break, right? Ooh. But that core is working hard. 10 seconds. And we're almost done with this first circuit. Three, two, one. All right, team, last thing. We're gonna put it back above our wrist. And we're gonna do a little plank. And we're just gonna move right and left. So to the right, to the left. You can be on your knees too if you wanna just get the upper body. If you wanna keep the core working, come up in that strong high plank. Step to the right with your hands, then to the left. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, in this it is, your right is my left, and so forth. It doesn't matter. So you can move your feet or you can not move your feet. So if you notice, Elise is moving with her feet. Which is, don't have to. You don't have to, which is great. It's gonna activate that core even more, but if you wanna just take it with your arms, you can do that as well. Nice, and here, there we go, and reach. 10 seconds, then we get a breather. Stay lifted in the center. Strong shoulders, arms, core, three, two, one. Stretch it back. All right, let's toss that band to the side. We don't need it. Slingshot it out of the way. Grab a sip of water. We did it first, circuit, team. Now we're grabbing those weights, those dumbbells. 
How are you feeling? Warmed up, ready to go. Great. Oh, I love your new glass body for Amy. Water bottle, I need that. <laughs> I'm sure I have one somewhere. Okay, with your dumbbells, we're gonna start with something medium to a little lighter. I want you to watch me here. Three-way reverse fly. So you reverse fly, you're in that hinge position and we're lifting from the shoulders. So soft bend in the elbows, but it's not a row. That's coming later. Your palms are to the back first, reverse. Turn those palms facing each other, reverse. And then palms facing front. You're gonna feel the difference in the back and shoulders. I'm gonna go with these baby weights. Elisa's got the heavies. We're gonna hinge. Let's get it done. Palms to the back first in three, two, one. Here we go. Turn palms in and here. Palms forward and here. Feel the difference in that back. Palms back, <sighs> palms together, and here. So your hinge, everything else looks the same. You got a soft bend in the knees. Nice flat back. <sighs> Moving from the shoulders, that's why we went a little lighter. Later in this circuit, we're gonna do something similar with the row, where we actually bend in those elbows, and it's your row pattern. And turn it forward. We're also getting good mobility through our shoulders, our elbows, and our wrists. Last one. And breathe right high. Let's hang out with these. Let's go to a little bicep curl. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna curl up regular. You're gonna rotate them at the top and down. So it's a curl in reverse. Curl up, rotate, and down. In three, two, one. Here we go. Curl, flip them, and down. High. Again, Little tougher on those biceps, on those arms, but also mobility through our elbows and our wrist joints, which we all need, especially if you spend any time on a computer or driving your car or looking at your phone. I'm sure it's none of us. Right here. 15 seconds, slow and controlled. Then we're gonna get that heart rate up with one dumbbell. Flip them. Here, I got these baby fives, and man, I'm feeling them. Three, two, one, set one weight aside to get a little bit of shoulders and core, but also get that heart rate up. We're up, we're driving our knees in, and our weight coming down. So it's a press over, everything comes in to tighten the core, everything extends, really get the shoulders working. In three, two, knee drives, here we go. Did I mention this is a no repeat workout? Yeah. I think it's going to go faster than we think. Yeah. But this is where we get that heart rate up, right here. And up. Whew. Right through here. Pull those elbows in. Knee to chest. Halfway there. <laughs> Driving in. Strong press. Ten to go. I'm glad you have the heavy one. Five, four, no, I miss it. Three, two, one, relax. All right, I'll take those. Now you grab the 15s, the even heavier, because <laughs> we're going to a row. No, I'm really excited to get these stitches out and get back to lifting heavy. All right, exactly what we did with our reverse fly, we're taking it with our row. So palms to the back, bent elbows, palms turn in, regular row. Palms forward, it's still a row, it's not a bicep curl. You're pulling your elbows up, all right? So here, here, here. Soft bend in the knees, hinge, nice flat back. If you need to stagger, that works too. Let's get it done in three, two, one. Here we go, wide row, palms in, regular row. Palms forward, supinated row, we call that. So you got a wide row, regular row. Palms forward, hand up. Wide, ha, huh. squeeze, flat back, and remember with that row, you're pulling towards your hip bones, you're squeezing in those shoulder blades. I'm just gonna give you a little reference. Uh, you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, as long as you're getting that movement, it doesn't matter. One more time with each. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, set one of those aside. Here, I'll give you this one again. All right, let's get our heart rates up. So snatch. The snatch can be just your curl and press, or it can be a little more of a snatch where you pull with a little bit of power. Within that, we're also going to pop it back or walk it back and pop it in. 
So snatch or curl and press. Pop it back, walk it back. Bring it up, alternate your arms. Whatever that looks like for you. If that's just a squat and you're not walking back, that works too. If it is a curl and a press without the power set, that works too. Let's do it. 40 seconds. In three, in two, one. Here we go. Let's do a snatch. Let's drop it down, pop it back, pop it in. Grab another arm. <laughs> pop it back. Pop it in. Now back to the right. Snatch. <laughs> Listen, as long as you're moving, and again, whatever is comfortable. Some people, the curl and the press, you can still get the power. Some people want to walk it back. Some people might just be doing a squat. Maybe you're here. And you're not doing any of it. And you're back here. See what I did there. There we go. Three, two, one, and relax. There's that heart rate. Ah, yes. All right, watch me down on your back. I'm gonna have Elise do this, but I'm gonna demonstrate it. So, pull over crunch. You're taking it over your head. If that feels like too much, just keep it body weight. And then you're crunching everything in. Your feet can tap down here, or you can go all the way out, just like that. All right, I'm gonna have you do this. Little modification would be just the knees or just the knees and the crunch. Come on your back, right here in the center. Yeah. So tuck that core, get that big stretch, and then upper back and shoulders are working. Here we go, everything in. And then everything out, yes. And feel how as the feet touch down and as the weight goes this way, it's pulling through your core, so you really have to use that core to bring everything in, right? Harder than it looks to add just a little bit of weight. If that's not right for you, again, body weight, you're still gonna feel it. Wrap the core, everything in, yes. Over, so strong. 10 seconds, pulling it in here. And breathe, take it here. Everything in. Yes, three, two, one. Turn over into a high plank position. And mirror me over here. All right, team, so it's your high plank. We're gonna set that weight here, and we're gonna pull it through. So we're here, you're gonna reach under, pull it through. Switch your hands, reach under, pull it through. You can also do this on the knees, if that's better for you. Let's get it done. In three, two, one. Reach under, pull it through. Yep, and you're keeping that nice good plank position. So tuck of the pelvis, zip up the core. That doesn't feel right, you can just do a reach without moving the weight, or you can drop to those knees. Whatever you need for you today. Making sure as we get tired that we don't shift back into those shoulders. You wanna bring the shoulders right over the elbows. Yeah, feel the difference. Oh, yeah. We have to think about that. Right, here we go. Boom. Five seconds, four, Three, two, one. Relax. Stretch. Circuit number two is done. Yeah. Vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Grab some water, team. I think I put my water back here. <gasps> Woo. Cheers. 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 Yes, cheers, y'all. Cheers. We did it. MRT. We got some band. We got some dumbbells. Let's take it to our kettlebell. All right, so dumbbells can go out of the way. I want you to grab a medium, let's see, that medium kettlebell, because we're actually gonna start over our head. So watch me, your elbows in. If this is not right for you, I want you just to do a press. But if you can, we're here. You're gonna do triple tries. So three, two, one. You can stand whichever is better for you and then pull the knee in. Three, all the way down, all the way up and then knees in. So that if you don't feel comfortable over your head, just do three presses and then a knee, all right? After that, we're gonna get some to curls, then we're gonna press them, put some things together. Get power, are we ready? Okay, elbows in, here we go. We got three tries, three, two, one. Come on, let's go. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Three, two, one, and knee. Over the head, three, so slow and controlled. Yep, and you can have your feet parallel. Sometimes that's better for the knee, but if you feel like you're arching your back, you can stagger. Two, 
It's hard with that heavy one, isn't it? And right? Three. Woo! Tries. Isolating the back of the arms, which we love to do. Woo! Here. turn this way. We're going to do a slinger curl, but not a full slinger turning all the way into it. We're going to start sort of in that hinge position. You're here. You're going to sling it up. Now, if that's too heavy, you can have your hand underneath here and catch it, but we're adding a little bit of that low back, a little bit of glutes and hamstrings. Let's do it. Here we go. Hinge, power it up. Catch it. Yep. Hinge and catch. And when you catch, you're using your core. Really lock out. Here, to here. We're actually going to go the full 40. Originally, I told Elise we we're going to go 20, but I lied. Nice! So you can catch either in front or a little bit across the body like a regular slinger curl. And you can hinge a little bit with it too. Drop your chest. Yes! There we go. And bring it up. So notice you feel a little bit of that low back as well as the bicep. And with the sling, with a little bit of power, we can go a little heavier. Three, two, one. Relax. Yes. So that's the idea, right? When you catch it, you have to really stabilize here to keep from leaning back. So a little hinge, catch. Bicep sling as if you're whipping it up, right? Here we go. In three, two, one. Here we go. Sling and catch. Drop it down. Sling and catch. And down. Breathe. <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like maybe you're not doing it behind me. <laughs> what? Yeah. No, I'm doing it. <laughs> Look, I can see you. This this window, now that we're in a gym with windows, I can see you in that mirror. <laughs> Which is not a mirror, but it's a window. <laughs> so get here. Catch it. Down and up. But thank you. Thank you for pointing out my form. <laughs> we got five, four, three, Two, boom. All right, check it out. Give your hands a little break from the kettlebell. Here's what we got, team. Over the shoulder. So as if you were taking something over your shoulder, like a log or I don't know. I don't know what. A, a child, right? My children. Yes. <laughs> right? So we're here. We're starting on one side. So engage that core. We're pressing up and over. You can keep it a little bit out in front of your body or you can go over your head, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Let's do it. Here we go. Left to right. Yes. Right to left. Or whatever you're doing on the other side of the screen. Breathe here. And if you want to get a little half squat to get a little power, more like a push press, you can do that too. Yes. Power it up. Side to side. Little different. 10 seconds. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, Yes. All right, so let's get a little power with some core. So it is a clean and a press. You want to add a little squat or half squat, you can. So you're clean with that kettlebell as you're tossing and catching to yourself, you're pressing it up. If you want to go here to give yourself some power, you can. If that's not right for you, it's a curl and a press. We got 40 seconds, MRT in three, two, one. Here we go. And up. Oh, you, you know what? No, I no. feel like originally no. I had that, but you're still doing it. If you want to add that tricep, you can. Thank you, Elise. I'm so sorry. This is what we practiced. We did, in fact, practice. And at the last minute, I cut it out because we got some more triceps down on the mat. This is for heart rate. Whew. We're just going to get it. Five. Four, three, two, one. Yes. All right, team. Down on your back. Okay. We're here. All right, I'm going to show this and then have Elise do it. Close grip press. So we get chest, shoulders, and triceps into triceps. So you can keep it right here or up over 
and down, but only if you feel comfortable with that. You wanna come a little bit behind your head, here to here. If you feel better, right through here, keep it with that. You come on down. <laughs> Still a little tougher, I should be safe. Not lay on my stitches. All right, so elbows come straight down, and then press, and then if you wanna add the tries, bending in the elbows here. Let's do it in three, two, one, here we go. That counts. I'm classic, right, you got one extra rep. <laughs> You can stop a second early, but I'm probably not gonna tell you till you're done. <laughs> Elbows in. So close press, I love this with the kettlebell because you can keep that close form pretty easily because that's as far as your elbows will go. Hold it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Up. And try. Ten seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one. You did it. All right. All right, flip over into that plank position. Last thing from here. Here's what we got, team. Your kettlebell is in front of you. I want you to take a step back. You're going to tap and tap, tap and tap. If you want to be on your knees, you can. And if you want to get fancy, you can tap, jack, tap, and Jack, whatever is best for you. Let's get it done for 40 seconds. Let's get that heart rate up. Metabolic resistance training in three, in two, in one. So you can just tap and tap. What you wanna add? Tap and Jack, tap and Jack. If you, you probably shouldn't add it because you have those weights right by your foot. I don't want you to trip. Uh, it's right. If it's too much, drop to those knees. Just get that reach. We're getting all through that upper body, right? We're getting lots of core, and we're getting that heart rate up to finish the circuit with that good and more Tap. Breathe. Yes. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Stretch it back. Yes, team. You know what? That went quicker than I thought. So, <laughs> so <laughs> let's grab some water. I think we need a quick little bonus round, and here's what we got. There'll, all, there'll be combo moves. First one with the band, second one with dumbbells, third one with kettlebell. That is I all we got. Repeating. Right? No, we're not repeating. They're brand new moves. So grab your band, come up on your feet. Here's. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put it here. Whew. And we're gonna do double step punch. Double step punch or reach, all right? And on your double step, if you wanna go up, up, punch, up. Don't worry about your foot. Yeah, yeah, don't. Whatever. Just move your arms <laughs> and your legs. We wanna create the tension. We're gonna go two to the right. Last time I feel like we did this in a cardio workout, we ran into each other, but. Sure, sure, I'll go behind you. Okay, so two steps, reach across. Keep that, let's do this instead as we step. Okay. All right, here we go. Whatever it looks like, you're gonna get you those arms and the cardio working. Here we go. Take it, two, one, punch, two, one, boom. That's better, we didn't need to go over the head. And if you want, you can do a little shuffle step. Uh, these bands feel harder than they did 30 minutes ago when we started with them. Out and punch, out and punch. We just gotta make sure this workout lives up to its name. Metabolic resistance. 10 seconds, team. None of this is on our workout breakdown. This is all a complete surprise to Elise. You're welcome. Three, two, one, good thing she's such a good sport. Oh, my arms. All right, so grab some dumbbells. I think you can do those 15s because you were very strong. I'll grab these 10s. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. All right, so here's what we got, team. We're putting almost all of it in together. So we've got our row for two. We've got our curl or a clean for two. We've got our press for two. So if you want, you can do the clean and then an extra curl and then you can do two presses. So two, two and two, row, curl or clean, press. 
Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you got it. Three, two, one. Here we go. Row for two. Bring it up for two. And press for two. Here we go. Take it down. Row, two, curl or clean. And two, press for two. Take it here. Up and up for two. Press for two. Here we go. We got 10 seconds. Maybe we get go one more. All the way through. Or no, right here, one more. Two, 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 two. Boom. Oh, relax. Yeah. Let's put those dumbbells away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. For real? Yes, for real. All right, grab your kettlebell. Here's what we got, team. We're gonna take it right here. Woo! We're coming to a plank. We're gonna cross the knee across, cross the knee across. We're gonna pull this across, just like we did in the beginning. All right, knee, knee, pull and pull. So core, upper, let's finish it strong. If you wanna do this standing, you can just do knees, knees, press, press, or on your knees just with the pull through. Last 40 seconds. Okay. Take it on one side. Okay. In three, in, three. in two, in, two. in one. <laughs> Here we go, cross, cross, pull, Whoops. and pull, <laughs> cross. Woo. And if you wanna take it more of a mountain climber, you can do it. You can run it for four, then pull for two. <sighs> run it for, when Kurt's editing, he's gonna be like, what are these last 10 exercises you added? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we just had extra time. <sighs> Heaven forbid we have a short workout. <laughs> right? I mean, they're all short, right? We've got five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. Stretch it back. That's really it, team, I promise. Stretch it back. We're, we're, child, we're, we're child's posing. Yes. Sit back. Reach those hands to the front. How do you feel? Let's do it again. Uh, <laughs> come up onto all fours. I'm sure that's what everybody is saying. Roll through your back. Well, we got some good cardio, some good metabolic training. Ooh, yeah. We got... Some good upper body. I feel all through my arms. Ooh, yeah. And my shoulders and my back and some core. And of course, if you want a little more, I got tons of 10 minute workouts out there for you. Let's reach one arm under and get a little stretch. Yeah, lean into that. So be sure you leave us a comment. Say hello to Elise. I know hello. She's, she's a favorite. Thank you so much for helping me out. She'll be back. <laughs> other side, especially in our new space, right? We've oh, done this. Yeah. Whew. So much room to move. I know, right? And then just come to a seated position. <sighs> Let's take those arms out in front. Oh. Yes. <laughs> out. <laughs> done with you. And if you want to walk those hands forward, you can. Let your head, your chin. Everything drop a few deep breaths into that. Ah. So leave us a comment, leave us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and Elise's channel if you haven't checked out Elise's toy time. Trust me, your kids will love it. And many of you know Dory. We're gonna stretch this side. Her dog, she and Dory do sign language. So uh, if you're looking for something that is fun and wholesome and not I don't want to say anything bad about other YouTube channels, but something that you really want your kids to watch. <laughs> All parents know what I'm talking about. There's a lot out there that we're like, really, this is what you watch? But Elise and Dory are really fun. She does stories, she illustrates them, sure. and they do sign language. Sure. So check it out. I'll make sure. Our fun here now is Easter. Oh, yay! I'll make sure that I link it as well. Uh, let's take your wrist. So stretch through your wrist and your palm and let your head drop to the opposite side. Yeah, you're that way on this way, right? All the way through here again. We get super tight through there because of all the things we do that bring us forward. And then switch your sides. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
So be sure to check out all the links in the description. Make sure you get on that mailing list so you get your free workout calendars. Join us in the BodyFit Athletic Club on the BodyFit by Amy app. And don't forget to subscribe. Ah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your upper body MRT workout. Great, Great job. job.